What's up, everybody? How are you guys? Good to see everybody in the chat. I see all of you guys logging in. Thank you for joining me this Tuesday. Uh, we're going to have some fun. We're going to cut some hair together. Uh, thank you to MinervaBeauty.com for uh, sponsoring this show, this class. Um, we're live on their Facebook as well. Uh, we're going to do the Tuesday trim over there. Um, so welcome to the show. I'm super excited. We're going to cut an easy layered haircut today. I want all of your questions going on in the chat. If you're new to this show, type new in the chat. If you're an OG, you've been watching the show for a long time, type OG in the chat. Love seeing that. Uh, thank you guys so much for, you know, being a part of this. So I was just, just finished. I've been live now for, for a while. That's why I'm a little late. Sorry, guys. Um, I was just doing our live virtual hands-on class. Our second group just started today. Just spent an hour cutting hair with them over Zoom. It was super fun. Got to watch them, got to meet them. So uh, I don't know if any of you guys are in the chat that were in that class, but thank you for being a part of it. And now I get to cut hair with my YouTube, Facebook fam. Uh, so I'm excited about that. If you guys aren't a part of the virtual hands-on classes, be on the lookout. I'm going to be launching something really, really fun coming up. Uh, we still have some spots available for our layers and bangs class. Uh, and you can see all that on Shop FSE. Now, uh, let's talk about Minerva real quick. Uh, MinervaBeauty.com. Let's go uh, actually let me showcase their website here. See if I can pull it up. Nope, don't need that. Where are we at? Oh, here it is. All right, I'm going here. I want to show you guys a couple things because they're my pals. And I want to show you this new uh, station that I want to get in the salon. Where is it at? Styling stations. So if you're looking to upgrade your furniture, I mean, come on. But our whole salon is white and gold. Uh, and they just launched all these brand new products that are just beautiful. Look at this station right here. Uh, the gold shelf in it. Oh, we had these stations in our old salon. Um, they were just a plain mirror. There was no shelf. And that gold shelf is just beautiful. Uh, so I love that. I love these circle mirrors too. So if you guys are looking to upgrade your salon furniture, go check out my friends at MinervaBeauty.com. They're the best in the business. Shipping happens quick. And, uh, you know, they support people like us like uh free salon education so i uh, appreciate that all right guys let's all right i'm going back here oh cool that's a cool feature awesome okay so let me see i bought your clips thanks adele i appreciate that let me see some of you guys in here retired stylist deborah how do i get a haircut with you I'm not currently taking new clients, but uh, I'll let you know if I ever do it. If I ever take, if I ever take any new people. What's an OG? OG is like an original, an original watcher of the show. I think it's original gangster, to be honest. But uh, it's the original people. Oh my God, black and gold. That's right, black and gold. Um, let's see. Jess, good to see you. Mary, Lynn, good to see you. Uh, you all haircut. Nice. Thank you so much. All right, cool. All right. So if you're live on Facebook, please hit the share button and get involved in the chat guys, whatever platform you're on. Uh, the more you chat, the more you get to know people, but also it just grows the show. So I really appreciate all of you that do that. All right. We're going to pop on over here to the mannequin head. And I want to know in the chat, is there any, first off, where are you watching from? If you don't know what to write, put that in there. And then second, uh, what type of layered haircut would you like to see today? I got a thought, but, uh, you know, might not be the same as you guys. So we're going to cut layers. I'm going to section her out real quick. So I'm going to go straight down the center. Start off my parting. Those of you that have taken my virtual hands-on classes, this will look very familiar. Consistency is key. So I separate it just uh, side to side first, center parting. I'm gonna separate my fringe here. And what I'm looking for is just to get down to that hairline. So I'll show you guys what that section looks like. I'm trying to separate the hair that wants to fall forward and the hair that wants to fall backwards. Take a little bit more. 
There we go. Perfect. So look, when you look at this, the hair, this hair all wants to fall to the side. This hair all wants to fall forward. So that's the first part of my fringe. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side here. I'm just looking to match up that hairline. So that all wants to fall like that. Let's see where we're at with the rest. And that all wants to fall to the side. So now I've got my fringe. And whether I'm going to cut a fringe or not, I always separate it. I'll twist it up nice and tight. Get it out of the way. I don't need this till the very end. Oh, I love it. Sweden, Salt Lake City, New York City, England. We got textured bang shag. I like it. I'm going to clip in there. Textured bang shag. Right. Yes. Should we cut a textured bang? Yes. A textured shag. Yes. All right. So here we go. So now we're going to section the front and back. So I'm going, I'm looking for the hairline. I want to follow this section all the way down, match it up with the hair that wants to fall backwards. This hair all wants to fall to the side. Comb it up, out of the way. Yes. Hello from the Netherlands. What we got John. What's up, John? All right, so now I comb this straight out. I'm going to twist it and clip it. This is our side panel. Slide the clip up under. And we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So you can see right here. This is the hair that wants to fall in the back. Like that. All this is going to fall into the back. We're mimicking that hairline right there. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite. Love your videos. Who's that? Alexa, thank you so much. You're very, very welcome. All right, so right here. Down to the hairline. Ooh, nailed it. It's always a good feeling. Probably because I just did it for the last hour. I'm warmed up. So all this hair is going to fall into the back. So are we cutting a textured shag? Yes. Is that true? Is that what you guys want to see? Let me know. Let me know. So this is how I section every haircut, guys. Pretty much every haircut. Whether they part on the side or not, this is my section. Oh, we got Akshay in the house. All right, let me see. Cool. Uh, let's see, I know section hair like this or just for this class. KS, I always section hair like this um, in 2020. So I said during COVID, I had a lot of time to think about sectioning and this is the sectioning. So uh, yes, I section it this way and this is why. I'm gonna do a quick breakdown, but uh, this is one of the reasons why it's great to be a part of the virtual classes uh, hands-on because in Zoom, I can watch you guys section so a big difference between watching me do it and actually doing it and getting some uh, critiques. So, so watch, watch very specifically what, what's happening with this sectioning. So when you look at from a side panel view, 
all of this hair. So we're, we're basically separating the head and all the different curves, right? So this hair here all wants to fall into the back. It's also all the same density from here to here. This is all the same all the way around this section. And then this section forward, this is all the same density all the way forward, all the way across, just like that. I'm gonna take that little corner out. Uh, all the way across, you want all this to be the same density across, and then the fringe wants to fall to the front. So you've got this panel, this panel, this panel, and then you have same density, same density, same density. So as I'm working through the haircut, I wanna know and I wanna be aware of the curves of the head horizontally, and I wanna be aware of the head vertically as well. So now we're gonna go in and start layering this haircut. I believe we're doing a textured shag today. All right, what's Jess's question? I see people saying, great question, Jess. I wish I could just search people's names. Oh, textured layered haircut, curtain bangs, and then can you do a color class next time with some block coloring and shadow root? Yes. Sorry, I had to, had to swallow that one. Yes. I think that's actually a, a good idea. I don't know if it'll be coloring next time or I'll put it together, but, um, or I'll, I'll color this for a video for YouTube because color classes for me are really boring. Not only for me to do them, but the, the video takes too long. So I want to, coloring is very repetitive in some cases. Now I'm, I'm a hair cutter, not a colorist, but I'll color it and make it a, a shorter video and either play that during the class or you can just watch it on YouTube. But I, I like the idea. Textured layer cut with a curtain bang would be fun. So maybe that's what we do today. Let's do that. Let's get into it. All right. So, like I said, this sectioning is what I do for, for everything. I want to cut textured layers. So um, I'm gonna, already I'm thinking I want point cutting and I want different techniques that are gonna help enhance texture in this cut. So we're gonna start by creating a little bit of concave layering. Let me get to where we're current with the questions. Uh, Marissa, that's a great question um, right here. So um, you downloaded our app, which is the FSE Now app, so that you guys understand. FSE Now uh, is our education app. Um, it also has a salon locator attached to it so people can search for salons. Um, if you don't want to have your salon show up, then just sign up as a student, um, and that's really what it does. So the student is no different than the stylist except for you're not on the salon locator. Okay, so now we're gonna start cutting some layers. So I'm gonna tilt her head down. Uh, key for me is to always just make sure that I'm comfortable when I'm cutting hair. Uh, that's gonna make me the most consistent. So I don't wanna tilt her head too far because I'm cutting uh, with elevation. So obviously having her hair more straight up and down or even tilted back would give me a little more comfort but I like being able to have my sectioning held for me as well. So I'm gonna do vertical, straight down, center back. Like this, straight down, center back. I'm gonna section the one side off. We're just gonna work on one side first. So just like that. So then I take my next section So there we go. So now we're working with about quarter of an inch, half an inch of hair. Comb it out. I'm not really worried about the bottom, so I'm just gonna take from occipital bone into my hand. This, I don't really care. I'm gonna cut into that dry. So here we go. Concave layers, and I'm gonna point cut. Oh, let me back. Good? Yeah. All right, so standing behind the head, bring everything out, concave layers, cutting short, point cutting short, so long. I don't care about cutting past my second knuckle because I'm looking for loose tension. 
so that doesn't really matter to me. Now this will skinny up the, the hairline, uh, the outer perimeter, so be aware of that. If they have fine hair, then you may want to uh, do a little uh, less extreme ele uh, concave sealing. So I just cut this section here. Now I'm gonna move and pivot here. I'm gonna go here, here, following the round of the head. Pull this hair over, take out my section. So in 2020, I know things have been crazy, but I'm crazy too. And I've started pushing my guide to my new hair, I know. I'm changing my thought process a little bit. So I'm only going to be being here. I'm pushing it to there. Literally that much. I want it to go over and kind of meet the new hair in the middle so that, and this is kind of, I think it was a Ben Brown tip. I uh, love that guy. I learn a lot watching him. Um, but instead of worrying about pulling this hair over to the guide, I'm just shifting the guide over just a little bit. My last comb will be towards my body and then I'll shift my fingers up cut concave short to long point cutting to get a soft line right oh we got some people on I love it keep sharing guys keep sharing if your name is Sharon share twice All right, same thing, pushing the guide a little bit. Last comb towards me, up in the air, point cutting across. Now the beauty of the sectioning that we did is that I'm not worried at all about creating a hole or anything like that because we're all, we're working with the same hairline, same density throughout. Combing the hair up. A lot of you guys are asking about the comb. This is a YS Park 339 uh, Pride comb. They were limited edition, but I do believe for some reason, I could be totally wrong, but we were possibly getting a few more in, um, but they, they only made so many, so I'm not sure. So be on the lookout. If you go on our website, you can always uh, go through there and mark if something's out of stock for us to let you know when it comes in stock so you can just do that all right here we go so the last section again beauty of this is that the screen is black there we go coming back is that all of this hair is going to fall down here and it's all the same density so no holes are going to happen no one has to worry about that go right here bringing the hair up Straight out from where it wants to live, cutting that round shape. All right, so now we've got some point cut layers throughout. Now, here's the thing. It's gonna be really skinny down here. This length I'm not keeping. I'm cutting the length later. Um, I don't worry about the length at the beginning of a haircut. I worry about the length later on uh, when we start working um, the perimeter dry. So now I'm going to split this in half, comb all this hair that I've already cut out of the way. I've got a little bit for a guideline in the back here. And now I'm going to pivot, take my section. And again, at that occipital bone, split it. I don't need that underneath. I'm keep the density there. Now, those of you guys that are new to the show, I, <laughs> I run the cameras, the music, I, everything. I'm by myself right now, so sometimes I have to adjust. All right, up in the air, point cutting straight out from where it lives. 
we go. A little bit of the old, push it away, grab some new. Cut it at the occipital bone, bring that hair up. Last comb is towards the guide, straight out from where it lives. Sorry guys, I forgot to say, if you have questions, post them in the chat. Uh, type Q, put in your question. Q and then the question, a lot of you guys have been doing that. Uh, Adele saying, is the pink comb coming back in stock? Yes, Adele. Uh, pink will definitely be back in stock. I'm not sure exactly when, but it will come in soon. Uh, KS is saying, what does point cutting do? Point cutting creates a softer line. So in soft creates texture, movement. Um, so if you want more of a blended line, point cutting is a great technique to add in there. Let's see where we're at. Cut that already. And guys, I apologize if I don't see your question. I try to do that as good as I can, but it's hard for me to look at the haircut and the chat at the same time. So don't be afraid to post away in there and type Q before, and then I see it easier. All right, last, last bit. Standing in front of the head. Niketa, thank you. I appreciate it. It's very nice of you. Uh, is this a traveling guide? This is totally a traveling guide. Who, that, who asked that? Lindry. Traveling guide for sure. So we're working with the round of the head. And we traveled from this point here all the way around to the side. All right. So now do a little cross check. section around yeah, I think we're good. a little soft one. so you can see all the texture all the layers starting to pop through that haircut super fun thanks Lynn Hello, Eva. Uh, just ordered new Mizutani shears. So excited. Three pairs. Woohoo. Thank you so much, Monica. Hopefully you order them from us. Let's see. Level two class coming up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I think we're caught up. All right, guys. So now we've cut the back. So you can see the layers popping through. Tons of movement going on. This is super long. We're going to cut that length off. It's going to be about this long throughout. Uh, I want to cut off all that weak hair. Now I'm going to connect. Actually, let me start with the start with this side. Put that down. All right. So now. I want to connect these two panels. So I comb that hair down. I'm going to disconnect it in the temple area. So you could section off that temple area if you wanted to. The reason I'm going to do that is because now I know I'm working with this density instead of this density. So I need to change things up a bit. So just to give you guys a visual, I'm going to show you I'm taking out this temple area. I'm not going to cut it at all. I can put a clip in there. You could twist it up, clip it away if you want to. I'm gonna put two in there just cause sometimes I can't trust myself. So right there like that. And now what I'm gonna do is this, we said it was gonna be an easy layered cut today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this hair up in the air, just like this, comb it all up, condensed cutting, spin it. 
I'm gonna spin her this way. So just like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this hair and I'm gonna comb it over to me. I'm gonna take a guide from the center point here. So here's my guideline, right? I've got my guide, I comb all this hair up towards me. Oh, pull her head off. Up towards me, just like that, into this center, and I'm gonna point cut this hair off. Over direct it to the center top. Who can tell me in the chat before I finish this section, who can tell me what I'm doing cutting this horizontally like this? What's that gonna look like vertically? Anybody tell me? Five, four, three, two, one. All right, I'm gonna show you. So when I hold everything like this and I cut it horizontally like this into a panel and you see it flat in front of the head, look at the over direction that's happening throughout this section. You've got this pulling further away. You've got this pulling from closer. So when I let this go and I look at it vertical, so let me just take a tiny bit of this vertically. Look at that line. It's short to long. So that line to me is like a concave layer. So if I were to hold this out, cut it concave, it's funny uh, to me. Let me get this focused. I had an argument one time. I'm going to give you a little personal story here. I had an argument one time with a hair cutter uh, because I said that I was cutting concave when I was pulling everything together because I was looking at it in a horizontal line like this. Most people would say concave. You got to lift that elbow up. You got to uh, turn it, but you can hold everything, cut it just like this horizontally. But then when you look at it, it's the same as cutting it at that short to long concave uh, effect. So there it is. So that's the first section, condensed cutting. It matches up with the layering around the sides. Let me show you that. Key thing to hair cutting for me is, uh, not that one, is understanding the horizontal and vertical, uh, what you're doing with at both times. So being aware of what's happening to the head at all times. So you can see the layers that we just put in, in one section. And now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. I'll take out. Wet down the section. And I'll separate it again right around that parietal ridge, just uh, below the parietal ridge, above the temple, right there. Double clip it, one here, one in the back, hold on tight. head off again and now I'm on the other side of the head and I'm pulling everything up and over to this side all right so now I can grab my section as a guide now instead of from the back now I can see exactly what I cut on the opposite side so they match up like this here it is and I'll point cut my condensed section now I'm gonna recomb because I want to make sure that I 
got that length right in the back. A little shorter. And now bring that section up and I'm just gonna do some uh, intense vertical point cutting just to soften the hair even more throughout the top. Cool. You guys are killing it with the shares today. There's like a thousand people on over social right now. You guys are the best. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So now we've got our layers throughout the cut. That is why it's an easy layered haircut. Um, I knew it was going to be easy. I didn't know what cut we were going to do, but I knew it was going to be easy. <laughs> Make it easy for you guys. All right, so now we've got our fringe section, and we want to do a curtain fringe, right? That's what we said. So I'm going to show you guys a quick little easy curtain fringe technique. All right. All right, we're lined up. So I'm gonna separate the sides and the, the fringe for now. In the dry cut, I'll probably combine them a little bit, but an inch wide. Separate these two pieces here. And now you gotta decide where do you want the curtain fringe to start? Do you want it to start at the nose and peel that way? I'm gonna do that today, because honestly, I don't wanna, I cut bangs in every mannequin I have and it becomes almost useless. So I want to just soften this a little bit and then uh, we can cut other bangs on it at a different date. So here is the deal. I'm right here. I'm going to comb this hair out like this. There you go, right out in front of the head. And then I'm just going to slide cut into it like this I give it a slight bit of elevation and I'm just gonna work I can see where the nose is so I'm just gonna kind of work and peel into the hair I want it to be a nice broken line um, but I want it to be kind of layered so it, it pops a little bit now I bring the this section over to me a, uh, past the nose. So this is kind of the key here. Don't bring it just to the nose or just straight out because it'll become too short. A curtain fringe to me has a really nice opening at the face. So it opens up really nice and curves in, has a little bit of extra length. So I take this hair, comb it at the root, bring it over to me, past the nose, and then I'm just gonna softly connect this hair together cutting some short to long pieces and then look at the length that we end up with that with right there so you can see how that kind of peels out and opens up around the face we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side i'll just comb it forward like this connect in let's get some uh so just like this comb the hair over just like that and I start working on the opposite side of the nose through the section so that's a good start to our wet cut now I'll let down both sides here And we're gonna start to blow dry. Now, I gotta find my, my trusty blow dryer over here. There we go, it's coming. Okay. Here it is. 
Okay, so Minerva, brand new blow dryer, beautiful blow dryer, nice and gold. Again, whole salon is gold. Uh, we're gonna power this thing up, super powerful, see? Uh, super powerful blow dryer. We're gonna blow dry, we're gonna do kind of a flat wrapping technique. Uh, with the hair, I'm gonna play some music. You guys can post your dance emojis or whatever. And uh, we're gonna get this thing styled up. And then we're gonna cut the base. So don't go away, because we're gonna cut the base. We're gonna do some dry cutting. I'm gonna finish these uh, bangs here. So don't be running off now before the finale, okay? And we're gonna do a giveaway of this blow dryer on Instagram. So don't go away because I'm gonna announce when real soon. I'm gonna put some product in. Joyco Blonde Life Brilliant Glow. Just smooth the hair a little bit. All right. Let's get some music. This is the one I like to uh, I like to do for the blow dry, and then all right, here we go. So close. Try to beat the beat the song, but okay. sometimes I can.
So I did like a flat wrap, blow dry all the way around the head. So I'm just really working that mid or that scalp to mid shaft. And I want that nice and smooth. So you can see the air of the blow dryer, how it just passes over the, the hair. I'm not roughing it up. I want that shine. And then the ends we're gonna hit with the iron, so. One hundred percent. Got to be the the most powerful blow dryer I've ever used in my life. All right. So now that we're uh, oh, that's the wrong. Yes. All right. Um. All right. So now that we're in the iron portion. Let the iron heat up a little bit. And we're just gonna smooth everything. So let me grab, actually have my dry. The Matt Beck Velcro clips available. Shop FSE. You can use them as a clip or just uh, an armband. So now I'm gonna section the hair away and I'm just gonna work bottom half of the head first, hair over, take the clip and just slide it in, hold the hair in place. All right, so now diagonal back parting, hold the tension with my hand like, just like this and then I'm going to work smooth. I'm not straightening the hair. I just want to smooth and polish it out. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to read the chat a little bit. Jess, we would maybe do a virtual color theory class for sure. Um, just don't, haven't started putting that together. So, and I would obviously not be the one. I know color theory, but I don't want to be responsible for you guys paying me to teach it to you. All right. So, I'm just working my way through diagonal back partings and just smoothing the hair. Now, as I go to polish, I'm not twisting the hair or bending the hair. I want to see the lines in the haircut. Now, if they had wavy hair or curly hair and they were going to wear it wavy or curly, I wouldn't do this at all. Um, if they're going to wear it straight to wavy, then I definitely do this uh, because I want to see the weight lines. I know there's going to be some weight uh, within where the layers stopped, so we'll be able to see that better. Yes, so I think I see Lauren. Lauren was a replying to somebody, but she said, I think he said it was a layered shag with curtain fringe. It's a little shaggish. It's more of a textured layer cut. Um, didn't want to go full shag. I just wanted to create those, it, but it def definitely has some short layers. And then we cut a curtain fringe into it. So I'm just smoothing away. I'm actually going to turn so I can see your guys' comments better. And, uh, and then that way, 
I can answer some questions while I'm smoothing. <laughs> That's not the right button. Thank you for the applause, though. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right. You got questions, type Q in the chat. Post your question. Um, I can see them now. So I'm just going to smooth away. Valerie figured this question would come up for sure. Understandable. Valerie's asking what the iron is. Um, so this is the Dyson cordless flat iron, uh, smoothing iron, curling, wand iron, uh, whatever you want to call it. We're going to do both today. We're going to smooth. Oh, geez. We're going to smooth and we're going to curl. Uh, let me show you guys my new overhead camera here. Yes. Zoom out a little bit. You can see. So it's got a couple different settings. Pretty cool. Uh, obviously, you power it on. Uh, it can lock, shut, and turn off. Uh, you power it on. It's got three different heat settings. Uh, so that's pretty much it. It's cordless. Uh, these blades, they actually flex with every bit of hair. So if you have a thicker part of your section and a thinner part, then uh, it bends just in this area. So each area bends on its own. It's pretty cool. It's like having shocks on your car. So. Thank you to uh, Dyson for that. All right. So I just iron through. Just a couple passes. Notice that I do one pass from the from the root, but then I go mid shaft to ends on the second pass. I don't want to add too much heat to the hair. So if I don't have to, I won't. So I just go there and then maybe one more pass just to smooth it a little extra. And I'm doing low heat here. It's called the Dyson Corral. Um, Tiffany. cordless. It lasts 30 minutes. I'm highly educated on it. I just created a video for YouTube that hasn't been approved for release yet. Um, but I did a full review of it. So it should be coming to our YouTube channel so you guys can really see it. The crazy thing is it's a $500 tool. So, um, you know, you just got to figure out what is your priority. I do a lot of smoothing of hair every single guest. So for me, I love new smoothing iron tools. And the fact that it's cordless is very, very convenient. Um, so. All right. So I'm just going to continue working through. Uh, I love seeing these layers starting to pop. there guys almost there.
You can see that curtain fringe starting to come to life a little bit. I haven't even ironed it yet. And you can see, based on the elevation of these layers, they're seamless, where a lot of people freak out because they see the steps of layers. When you elevate like that and you create concave, you don't see the steps of the layers. They're soft. Does it have airflow? No, Tiffany, no airflow. It's not like a blow dryer iron uh, that you might see. Those holes are the flex plates. So like allowing the plate to like kind of move with each section, form to the texture of the hair a little bit. So then it creates less passes. So you don't have to pass over the hair so much. And uh, it's just nice and smooth. Almost there, almost there. Then we're gonna do some dry cutting together. Don't you go running away. If you're bored, just share it. Just hit that share button. There we go. This is the pivot point Gwen mannequin. I used her for the first time today in my virtual class. And then now today on this one. And the length of her hair is great. Really digging. Uh, this mannequin, Erica used to be my favorite, but not no more. Not no more. All right, so now I'm gonna give a little extra bend to that fringe, because I want it to, when I comb it forward, just bend it a little bit. Same thing here, comb it forward, bend it around the face a little bit. So then when you bend it the opposite direction, then when you go to kind of comb it back, look. Look at that. See how it flows off now? That's the key. That's the curtain. Nice. Looking nice. Here's the other cool thing. You look here. Move this stuff out of the way. So right here, it's got a little charging dock. So anytime you use it, you just place it right back on the dock and it starts charging back up. Pretty cool stuff. All right, here we go. I'm going to grab my dry cutting scissors. So a dry cutting scissor, guys, is it has a fatter blade. So let me show you this. So the biggest difference between these two scissors, these are both uh, my, my scissor. So here's the difference. On a wet cutting scissor, you can see how skinny the blade is right there. And then on the dry cutting scissor, look how fat the blade is. It has a different formation. The fatter the blade, the more powerful the blade is, because obviously the more metal, it's not gonna bend the metal at all. Uh, the longer a scissor gets, the weaker the tip gets because the metal gets less. So this just kind of allows you to slide and glide through the hair. Also, the blade is created to slide through the hair a lot easier. Um, and then also with your wet cutting scissor, when you're cutting with a wet scissor, it tends to dull your scissor faster because this is meant to be a softer blade that grips the hair. So when you cut dry hair, it's a little crunchier feel. It can just dull this a little bit faster. So this blade is meant to slide through. So I like to have both so that when I do both cuts, I can, um, I, I'm not dulling my, my good scissor, not my good scissor, I'm not dulling my precision scissor, and I'm just working with the dry cut. So, here we go. All right, cool, cool, cool. What if the head is square? Um, well, 
I think as long as you're focused on your shape, um, you don't have to worry so much about like the head shape for the most part, isn't going to be exactly square. It's all going to have a little roundness to it. Um, if you had uh, a square shape head and you put a round shape haircut on it, it's going to make the head, the head feel a little more round. So, I mean, that would be my recommendation is to just go ahead and do that. All right. So now we're going to work this perimeter line. Um, let me see how I want to do that. I want to show it to you guys here. So I'm going to raise her up. Let's raise the roof a little bit. So I actually had a question in my virtual hands-on class today that was great. Um, and so I want to talk about that a little bit with you guys because I have a feeling the internet's thinking the same thing. Uh, first off, look at the shape. See where the density is, kind of where the shape of those layers is and then how weak it is. Obviously, I don't want it, I want the length to be about here. Now, somebody asked me about shoulders. And when your guest has shoulders, obviously this doesn't have shoulders. So what I like to do is I like to make sure that I'm comfortable when I'm working and, and then the hair isn't really affected with elevation. So if she has shoulders over here, let's turn that down a little bit. If she has shoulders, then I'll probably utilize her shoulder to cut my line across here. And then when I get over here to the shoulder where I would have to take the hair and bring it and elevate it out, then what I'll do is I'll have her slightly tilt her head to the side and then look to the left a little bit. And what that'll do is as long as the panel that I'm working on is the side panel and not the back, this whole panel here will then come across to the front and there won't be any over direction. If I start cutting this back part and bringing it around the shoulder, then I get over direction. So just be aware, like we said at the beginning, and if you don't fully understand this, then you're probably a perfect candidate to come to my virtual uh, fundamental hands-on classes. Um, but understand that the head shape here, that there's different densities and different over direction. So now I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna cut my baseline in, see where the front of her is at this point. It's another great thing about shoulders, you know where the front is. So now I'm gonna go in and point cut because I do not want this to be uh, a straight blunt line, you could. Sometimes the combination of texture and blunt is cool. But like I said, this back portion, I would probably cut against her back, not in my fingers. And now I'm sitting on my stool. Thank you, Minerva gonna cut across just like I would if I if she had shoulders. I like using a cutting stool often. That was another question that came up today. Um, anytime I'm working on perimeters or longer hair, this is a stool. Oh, shit. Bowser, hang on. I'm falling apart. My microphone just got stuck. One sec. <laughs> my microphone just uh, exploded into my onto the floor. That's the bad part about using a cutting stool. Okay, I think I'm back. I'm back. Yes. Yes. No. This one. Yes. Okay. Um, what was I doing? Cutting hair. Yes. Oh, I wanted to show you the cutting stool. Okay, so this cutting stool, this is from MinervaBeauty.com. This is the, I believe it's the Samvia edition, but it's just sweet. It's on these uh, rollers. You see here, they're like roller blade wheels. So it's really smooth on your floors. It's cheaper chairs aren't like that. Uh, and this one just sits really nice. There's also one without the uh, this circle ring that goes a little bit lower to the floor. So uh, kind of decide what you're looking for, but uh, I love this, love this stool. I use it all the time. All right, finish up. I'm telling myself. All right, I'm gonna cut the sides. Like this. So I'm just point cutting. Now, listen, if she had shoulders, remember, 
I'd tilt her head like this and back to the side. Her shoulder would be right here and I would bring the hair in front slightly and I would just make sure that I didn't elevate too much and I cut through. go and now I do the same thing on the opposite side have her tilt out of a way uh, and turn her head and then her shoulder would be sitting over there and I can connect all of the side now I bring her back up I say do we match close enough Uh, you guys are going to love this cut. It's turning out awesome. All right. Lower her down a little bit. How are we feeling? Let me know. 100% in the chat if you like it. If you don't like it, you'll love the next one. So now I want to add a little extra texture. I'm going to show you guys a technique that we do in week four of our fundamental cutting courses. Uh, and here it is. This is the stroking technique. So I go just like this. And now I've already got texture in here, but I just want to create a little extra stuff throughout. So I bring it forward and then it's a half open or it's, it's a full close. And I'm just going to connect those bottom pieces. And I'll just keep bringing the hair forward and cutting it. This will help open up the face a little bit, add a little bit more layering to it. Tons of texture. So you can see, I'll show you the two sides. So you, you'll be able to see like how this side kind of pops out and this one just appears a little bit like lengthier, I guess you could say. Uh, so we're gonna do the same thing over here. Just bringing the hair over and I'm just gonna cut up into it like this. That just gives you that little bit of extra texture. And now the last little thing, another week four little fundamental trick is a little tease cutting into this fringe just to soften it even more. I don't even know if you need to do that too much, but I just like adding a little softness to the edge of my cuts. I'm going to do the same thing here. All right, and now we're gonna style it up. So we've already blown it dry, it's already smooth, uh, but that doesn't mean it's styled, right? So let me go right here. This will obviously be off of her face. I'm gonna blow dry. I'm gonna use this guy here. Minerva blow dryer, and I'm gonna pop just a little bit of volume, not much, but I'm going to use the heat, pop a little bit of volume into that fringe, which is great to keep it off of her face a little bit. And then let me grab texture spray here. We got a light finishing spray as well. Okay. So a couple products, uh, we're going to use uh, medium hold hairspray. Uh, this is Joyco Joy Mist, um, medium hold. So I'm going to spray that into the hair just a little bit, just to give me a little hold start. And then the texture spray I'm going to end with. So I want to iron this fringe out of her face. So let me heat this up. So that's just giving me a little base of product. And now when I go into her hair, I'll have a little extra hold. So I'll heat it up now. And I'll twist this back off of her face. Let's see where we're at. Get 
in there. So anytime I'm ironing, now that I've cut it dry, I just go through and polish those ends because the ends have been cut, right? So I just want to smooth them out. Uh, some of these ends were sitting more like where the mid shaft was. So in order to polish it out, it's kind of the best way to do it. All right, now we're going to go in texture spray. texture. Now I got the texture spray in there. Now I can kind of mess it up just a little bit. Got a curtain fringe going. Ooh, that looks nice. And then, obviously, a little hairspray will hold the rest of the pieces. So you can see how that curtain fringe kind of comes into play. Then you've got these layers throughout the sides and the back that are just nice and soft. You could even cut into this a little bit if you wanted. I kind of like that disconnection in there. And then you've got the layers in the back popping through. That fullness, the body. But the curtain fringe is for the win there. So, what do you guys think? You like it? Cool? Cool? All right. Let's see where we're at. Oh, my hair. I sweat a little bit for you guys. It's not as hot outside anymore, though, so it didn't feel like it's hard to work today. But that's an easy layered cut, right? <laughs> so that's kind of what it's, what it's all about. So, anybody have questions post them in the chat joyco beach shake yep that was uh joyco beach shake all right yes jessica call i mean no hair needs full heat so i think that's a a misconception from people um most people that that feel they need to turn up the heat on their iron, they really need to take a smaller section uh, and then they don't have to turn up the heat. Awesome, thanks Adele, appreciate that. Uh, is the natural hair or synthetic hair? Natural hair uh, on the mannequin. Best for, is this best for medium hair? Medium hair is always kind of best, um, but it's also not bad for fine hair because you're disconnecting the bottom. So I always kind of believe in leaving density in the bottom of fine hair. Uh, if it was thick, thick hair, then I might actually layer the entire thing um, and not so much. This mannequin actually has really thin, thin hair, like um, thinner than a normal mannequin. It's not like super thin, but it's thin. I know somebody on the internet be like, that, that's thin, I don't know what mine is. It's, it, it's not that thin, but um, for a mannequin it is. So I would concave all the layers or all the hair if, uh, if I was working with super thick hair. All right, any other questions here? Thank you so much, Gabriella. Appreciate that. Valentina, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, shorter would give a little more balance. Not sure in that conversation where we're at. 
Uh, thank you for this easy technique. You're very, very welcome. All right, guys. I'm glad you liked it. Um, you know, I'm going to be back here live every Tuesday. So on Minerva's channels and on Free Salon Education. So I hope you guys are enjoying the classes. Again, if, you, uh, if you're looking for it, uh, make sure that you check out Shop FSE because um, I'm selling the virtual classes on there. We do it over Zoom. I can see you. I can adjust you, how you're sectioning. I give you a goal for the week, and then we kind of continue cutting hair. I'm going to be signing up a new group, uh, and it's actually going to be more of a cutting club that it will be ongoing. Uh, that'll be starting in November, so be on the lookout for that. Also, I have two virtual classes, layers and bangs we can cut together uh, coming up, and then there's another one. I forget the name of it, but I have two classes coming up in October as well. So you can see those on Shop FSC. You get your ticket, you go get a mannequin, and then you can become part of that uh, class. So um, very, very cool. All right, guys. I'll probably be back doing a class this week for sure. I think Jess was asking. Um, I want to uh, – I'd like to ideally do at least two a week. Sometimes I get on a roll and I do a five a week. You never know. So uh, make sure that you're a part of that. And then I also, if you look at this number here, uh, if you text me, 215-608-2612, um, I send out a text to you guys before I go live all the time so that you don't miss it uh, because a lot of the social media platforms won't tell you when I'm live. So uh, if you want to know when I'm live, go to 215-608-2612. Just text me hi and it'll start the flow. Um, and then I can text you whenever I'm doing something. And then also, uh, what was the other thing? Oh, FSE now. So make sure that, uh, FSE now you download our app. It's super cool. Um, do I have the capabilities right now to show you guys something and see if this works? Sometimes this works like beautifully. The good thing is we were done with that that part. Hopefully I just jumped onto the same broadcast. <laughs> I'm really hoping, but okay. So here's the app real quick. Just so you guys know, uh, FSE now all of our videos, all the latest things. If I'm going live, uh, you'll see that. See, there's the upcoming stream, uh, latest videos that we put out me and my friends, uh, different things. And then all the full classes, you can watch all of these over again, um, on here. And then we also have a community. So you can see all of these like fun, hairdressers on here that are posting their work. And then when you click on it, you can create your own profile uh, on there. It puts all of your work up there that clients can see on the internet. We share that, uh, share your, uh, they can get on the app and start sending you a message so that you can get clients from it, all that stuff. So um, you can follow each other, you can message each other, all kinds of fun stuff. So that is the FSE Now app. Uh, and again, there's my text phone number, 215-608-2612. So if you're looking for it, look me up on FSE now, and you can find it. And that's it. I've been live for a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the class today. I hope you guys always enjoy it. I'll try to get back on here live again this week. So make sure you text me, and I'll let you know when that happens. Uh, you guys are the best. What do we say? At the end of the day, it's going to be a great day. Be a great so, day. I'll see you. Chop it, clip it, spray it, flip it. I woke up this way. Awesome, it's gonna Michelle. Be a great day. Awesome. Shopping. Oh, yeah. Thank you to Minerva Beauty. You guys are the best. I really, really appreciate uh, you guys supporting Free Sound Education. Go get your furniture and all your tools and all your stuff from Minerva Beauty and the cutting stool. Go get a cutting stool. Right now, MinervaBeauty.com. Thanks, guys. It's going to be a great day. Shopping, flip it, spray it, flip it.